Dame Dash currently being sued by Rockefeller, y'all. BB in Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Damon Dash, Dame Dash, is getting sued by Rockefeller. Okay. Now, real quick, just so we could be clear, Rockefeller, just so we could, he, okay, so basically, <laughs> Dame Dash is one third owner of Rockefeller. Y'all do know this, right? <laughs> so, he's currently being sued by a company in which there's only two other people in the company is uh, basically, who is on his level so that he, that's the company that's suing him the company he actually is part owner of so there's a couple of uh, legal situations here that actually are extremely tangible and to be honest with you i i i can't even i i don't have any idea how dame dash thought that this was something that he could do legally i mean the, uh, anyway so for everybody that doesn't know what an nft is i'll give you uh, very quick breakdown. So basically, an NFT is a non-fungible uh, token. Basic. Um, so you know what cryptocurrency is? Cryptocurrency is a fungible token. Basically, what that means is is that in order to trade cryptocurrency, you have to trade it with other cryptocurrency. It has to be uh, like a one-for-one -one basis. You understand what I'm saying? Whereas a uh, non-fungible coin token non-fungible token you can enter you can trade that token with a different token which is not the same token so um let's say perchance it's like being able to go and when you're trading in your car being able to trade in your car for any cards a lot or being only able to trade your car in for the same year and model that you're bringing in basically anyway so um that's what damon dash is apparently trying to do he's he's gonna he's trying to take his stake and ownership this is also something that is kind of a new thing that they're doing and basically what what they're doing is they're attaching real world things to these tokens so basically uh let's say we have a token of an image particularly right so i can own the rights because I own the NFT, so I own the rights to that particular image, even though I did not, uh, I could maybe I didn't even photograph the person, maybe I just, you know, I bought it from someone else who already had owned the rights. Now, if there are copies of this particular thing, it that's not a problem. The problem, that's not a problem, that's cool. They can be because you know, it's like you own the rights to an image the image is on google people are going to download it like crazy anyway it's like oh man how did that image get out there no it's not owned like that it's owned as in um uh, that image you all have copies i have the real thing like i guess like a painting think of like a, like a painting like you go to somebody's crib and you see a van go on the wall you know these guys you know they live in affordable housing it's not the real van gogh <laughs> just saying but you know that's it probably in the louvre somewhere but this particular it's, it's a facsimile of it it's a replica of it so uh yeah so basically the person who owns the nft owns the actual thing they're attaching real world items and real world situations to these nfts now but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make an nft video that way, uh, we can get to what's actually happening here with Dame Dash and Jay-Z. So basically, Dame Dash is trying to do this thing where he's trying to sell NFTs, which is basically ownership of what he was going to be able to acquire from the business of Rockefeller. Um, Rockefeller doesn't want this. Rockefeller does not want Dame Dash selling NFTs. First of all, 
uh, he doesn't have the legal right to do this, as I mentioned a minute ago, because he is only one third owner. How can you how can you sell that? What he's what it seems like he's trying to do is he's trying to say his ownership or the part of the company in which he owns, basically. And in with that in that regard, I doubt very much that Rockefeller will want just anybody to be able to be a part owner with them. <laughs> Yo, just imagine. Yo, just imagine. You 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 built a company up from scratch. You and your homeboys, right? Y'all brothers. Y'all built the company up from scratch. This company got extremely big. Y'all, you know, decided that y'all wanted to go y'all separate ways to a degree. Whatever the hell. And then one of them said, you know what? I'm just going to make it so anybody can buy a company. Any old douchebag could take my place. So that's why I would see what Rockefeller wouldn't want that. They're sending on cease and desist. I believe they were going to sell. Uh, one of the sales of the NFT already has been canceled. I believe it was going to be on Grimes' choice, something like that. Um, I don't I don't know the names all the way of all these things i think i'm saying that correctly and uh basically they were going to sell it they received a cease and desist from the lawyers of rockefeller they decided to desist <laughs> i mean they decided to cease <laughs> or desist they both of those things and um so now dame dash is allegedly allegedly looking for a a new place to sell his uh, NFT at, so they already put the kibosh on that. They, I'm, I'm saying at the end of the day, but this I would not want him to be able to do this either. Like just talking from a real standpoint, I'm I'm uh, D Dame Dash Company or whatever that he owns. Um, this is not Dame Dash Studios, by the way. This is not Dame Dash Studios. We're just only talking about um, the stake that he has in Rockefeller still. I mean, this is with this is not Dame Dash Studio. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I would, I would not want him to do this either. Just imagine, yo, just imagine if Trump, <laughs> not even Trump, you know, cause Trump is probably cool with these guys. He let homegirl get off. But imagine if like some KKK member <laughs> decided to, the, no, not a member, the literal KKK, those guys decided to pull all of their money and resources and get this NFT so they can now be one third owner of Rock Nation, of Rockefeller. Come on, man. Nobody got time for this. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. Dave is just beyond one. Uh, shout out to Dame Dash. Um, <laughs> shout out to Dave Dash. Uh, I want to know what you guys think about this, though. Like, do you think that this is something? Uh, I want to know your perspective on it. How do you feel? But, you know, maybe you disagree with me. Maybe you disagree with Rockefeller. Maybe you agree with Dame. Uh, and Rockefeller got other problems right now in, involving, I, uh, I'm not going to speak on it here. I'm, I'll make a video on it. But Rockefeller also has other problems right now revolving around Reasonable Doubt, apparently. And the uh, photographer who took the picture of Reasonable Doubt. So there's no telling what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Rockefeller right now. Shout out to them, though. Um, let me know what y'all guys think. Do y'all think that this is, uh, Dame Dash going a little bit too far? Uh, did you understand what a, uh, NFT is? I'm going to make a video on the NFT. If y'all remember, um, we had Will Cornish come on and talk about NFTs in September. I, he was, he was explaining it. I, I thought he was doing a pretty decent job. I don't think I got it that I don't think I got it that well either. I didn't really understand it because I don't think we've had anything like an NFT ever before. So I just think I didn't understand the concept myself. But um, yeah, we had Will Cornish on. He was talking about um, NFTs. He was putting everybody on to them even before they came out. So uh, looking at NFTs, it seems like something, you know, people like trading and having stuff nowadays. You might, might be interesting to you. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you, let me know, let me know what you thought about this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I get on this one. I'm out.
Name a couple of other members in your group. In my group? All right. We got Spark Easy. Boom. We got Old Dollars. Boom. We got Kwame. Boom. We got Young Bo. Boom. I apologize. CEO Bo. <laughs> I'll make sure I say that right. Let's go. CEO Bo. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We got Bonds. Boom. We got Juice. He's not an art. He's not. He don't rap. He's a producer. His okay. name is Juice. We got a producer. His name still, Juice. He's still. He's still in the situation. Yeah. And we got Vega. He's a reggae thong artist. If they can't show you where they get their Seymours from, don't consume it.